Hello everybody, today it is time for my complete DVD and Blu-ray collection 2020. It's 2020, I haven't made a video in a month, but today I'm going to show you my complete DVD and Blu-ray collection. So grab some popcorn or some sweets, because this is going to be a long one. Let me show you this, uh, show my new hat. I've got first is the aliens from Toy Story. Look at that, look at that, it flashes. Three different modes. You can just keep it like that. Won't keep that on the whole video because that will be very, very distracting. But let's get into this. Um, first off, I probably this is going to be terrible picking up stuff right now with the mic in my hand. Um, I'm going to pick up some stuff from the floor just to show you stuff that I bought recently, which isn't on the shelves. Uh, let's just go through very, very quickly. So we got these here. We have uh, Bumblebee. Raising Kane, Missing Link, The Favourite, Toy Story 4. We have My Neighbor Toronto, uh, Romeo and Juliet, It Chapter 2, Tintin, and the Secret of the Unicorn, Imperium, Midsummer, 2001 A Space Odyssey, then Evil Dead, Extended Cut, uh, Grave of the Fireflies, Adventure Time Season 3, Adventure Time Season 4, and the complete series of Thunderbird. And uh, then there's, there's two others that also aren't on the shelves. So we've got the Vengeance Trilogy, which is Symphony of Mess Vengeance, Old Boy, and Lady Vengeance. Three perfect films, in my opinion, and they shouldn't be remaking Symphony for Lady Vengeance. Or Symphony for Lady Vengeance, Symphony of Mr. Vengeance, and Lady Vengeance. It's fair that they are remaking both those movies, and that is a terrible, terrible decision. Uh, and then the other box that we have here is the Universal Monsters um, Complete Collection, which is... Uh, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, Phantom of Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. I found this in a charity shop for very, very cheap, and oh, it's a great box. I'm so glad I found this. And last time I did this video, I didn't have, I didn't have these shelves, this little shelf. I got some more shelves, but I still can't fit everything on the shelves. I have too, too much stuff. Here is all. My VHS first, let me show you all of that. The Evil Dead at the top, then we got Alien, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Brain Dead, Alf, there's a few episodes of Alf there, uh, Deadpool 2, this isn't actually a Deadpool 2 VHS. Uh, in the UK, they did a, a Blockbuster store, and this is just the digital code inside here, but it's still a Deadpool VHS case, which is pretty cool. Uh, Spider Man The Dragon's Challenge, the weirdest, weirdest Spider Man movie ever made. Movie, television show, uh, Prehysteria and Prehysteria 2. Very bad dinosaur movies. Uh, VHS, VHS of VHS. Uh, Maniac remake with Elijah Wood and Weird Science. Those are all sort of charity shop buys. Um, I'll show you all the figures quickly. I'll just zoom out so you can see everything. That's all, that's all figures up there. We've got uh, like Gremlins and Akira over here and Kick-Ass and Lots of Gremlins ones and Stranger Things and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Lots of, lots of cool stuff up there. But let's now get on to my collection. So we will start on this shelf first, which is just... This is a lot of random stuff just thrown onto this shelf. Um, I need to really figure out what this is. There is a part where it turns into Marvel movies and box sets. But um, let's just do this. So here we go. First we have Nightmare on Elm Street. That is all seven movies. Uh, not the, yep, the remake is not in there. Um, then we have When a Stranger Calls, the second sight release in the nice big box, which also includes When a Stranger Calls Back. We've got your next, uh, John Wick Chapter 1 and 2, John Wick 3, Tremors, Life Animated. This is Spinal Tap, that is the still book. It's a, quite a basic still book, uh, but it's got that quote on the back about how black could it be. That's why the still book is like that. Um, then we have Waxwork, The Lost Boys, Us, Amityville Horror. That is also the second sight. Oh, if it wants to come out, second sight, still book. Then we have Widows, Small Soldiers, uh, The Handmaiden won't pull that out because these will drop. Uh, Upgrade, which annoyingly then got released by second sight on Blu ray in the UK, but it wasn't on Blu ray at first, so I had to get the um, Blu ray, Australian Blu ray release. Uh, then we have Mission Impossible, that is. One to three? Is that one to three? Yep, that is. Yep, that is one to three. If 
Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and Fallout. Then we have Firestarter. Uh, who's that released? But that is by Plan B. New company that started releasing pretty good stuff. And then we have Night of the Living Dead, which is the Criterion release, first Criterion release I own. So this shelf is mostly um, Marvel stuff. It's not really in order of how the films work. I just put it in order of sequels and that. So we have we have Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp, Black Panther. This is the Black Panther's still book. Then we have uh, Captain America: The First Avenger, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, Captain America: Civil War. Then we have uh, Spider Man: Homecoming. That is the the still book of Spider Man: Homecoming. This is the I believe this is the H and B exclusive. And then next to that we have Spider Man: Far From Home. This is also the H and B exclusive. Like that Avengers: Infinity War and Avengers Endgame still book. Hey Luke, where's Avengers Assemble and Avengers Age of Ultron? Here's going to be an un unpopular opinion. I don't think those are good Avengers movies. And I think these ones are much better written. Like, you can go from Civil War straight to Infinity War. Just written better. And then, this isn't a Marvel movie, but we've got Orgasmo. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. One of the best comedies ever. Uh, on this shelf, we've got Indiana Jones, the com the complete adventures. Yep, does include Crystal Skull, the worst one, but hey, it's in there. Uh, then we have Troll, the complete collection, masterpieces of movies. Then we have Tokyo Tribe, Black Christmas, uh, Basketball, Forbidden Planet, Jason and the Argonauts, uh, H. G. Wells, The Time Machine, Scanner Darkly, uh, The Beast of a Thousand. Uh, the, uh, the Beast from two, 20,000 Fathoms. The Valley of Gwangi. But these are all the um, the HMV premium collection releases, which are in the nice nice boxes like this, nice slip cases. On this shelf, we have a. Uh, back to these are the HMV exclusive VHSs they were releasing. So you have Back to the Future, it's DVD and v and DVD and VHS, DVD and Blu-ray. Inside here, but they're meant to look like VHS. Come with a bubblegum card, it's very cool. And then we have a uh, Grease, also in the same type of box. And then next to that is his airplane and the box set of Ash vs Evil Dead season one to three. Uh, Back to the Future part three still book. Um, I'm still trying to get part two still book because I had it. Oh well, I ordered it, and then Zavi lost it. And then they were like, "Hey, we're all out of stock." I'm like, "Great, thanks, thanks." You put it on sale. But then you lose it. Then we have Society, the box, uh, Friday the 13th, which is the big steel box, which is great. That includes all the movies, even even the remake. Then we have Scarface, another VHS one, Spaced, and Harry Potter, complete eight film collection. So we got the Carrie, Carrie steel book. We've got The Godfather, all, all three films. Uh, Muppets box set, which includes... The Muppets Most Wanted, The Muppets, The Muppet Movie, The Muppet, The Great, The Muppets, The Great Muppet Caper, The Muppet Christmas Carol, and Muppets Treasure Island. And I do own the other Muppets movies, but they didn't put them in a box set. Uh, then we have the Donnie Darko. This is the ah, uh, if it wants to wants to come out, the uh, Arrow release. There we go. It's that one. And then Star Trek the animated series and then at the bottom we have the battle royale the arrow release the battle royale it's called battle royale not the battle royale you can't even i'm just right in front of the camera there's battle royale the arrow release and then we have the police story and lord of the rings extended let me just pull that one out just to show you An extended edition all the films and down the side we've got the dog <laughs> the dog who saved halloween this is just comedy I only use that for comedy. I open my new show called Bad Movies with that. Hey, come to Camden Fringe and Colchester Fringe and see my show. Dates will be announced very soon. Um, Pingu, that is season one, series one. Um, and turn your home into Sorok. I'm not going to show you that. That's, that's another joke. A DVD I found on the street. Now we've got to get through this lot. But this is just going to be telling you the titles. If you find this exciting, then in the comments down below say, I find this video. Very exciting. So we've got Army of Darkness, Apollo 13 steelbook. Um, I tell you what, this 
uh, before I began, because people were like, hey, why do you lay your collection down? Doesn't it ruin the discs? Never noticed any of ruining of discs, and I've been doing this with these shelves for quite a while. Um, I haven't noticed any problems. And you can't as fit as much on these types of shelves if you put them up. But it, I'll tell you, it's in a weird order. order. So it does start, the numbers are at the bottom here, and then it goes up, and then back down to here, and then up again, and then sort of carries on. So that's why B goes, B is up there, but then it goes down to C. It's, it's a weird order, or order. It's a weird order, but it's an alphabetical order, sort of. The second letter is just by first letter only. That's, that's it. But yeah, Kira's still book. This is the older still book. I know they did a newer release recently, but I still have that still book, and still that release still looks beautiful so i didn't see any reason as to why i would need to buy the new one uh clockwork orange american psycho animal farm a letter to to momo um i really like these releases that i can't remember who releases them um but they do these really cool releases which are in quite big big boxes like this you can see it properly but they do see it's a nice big box uh all the anime but yeah they do a lot of releases of these films this film's weird but it is a beautiful film. If you haven't seen The Lesson Momo, get get on that. Africa, the uh, TV series. Um, Attack the Block. Alien and Alien still books. I'll, just pull, out, I'll pull out the Alien one. Uh, there we go. There's the Alien still book. 21 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street. Uh, 10 Things I Have About You. And 10 Cloverfield Lane. See, starts in the numbers, but we're going to go back to the bees now. So Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, Blue Planet, the collection. So that is Blue Planet. Uh, one and uh, Blue Planet Two. Uh, then we've got Bone Tomahawk, uh, Blue Valentine, Bad Lieutenant, British to Terra Beefer, Brick Stillbook, American History X, um, Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, Quiet Place, Antichrist, Almost Famous. I watched Almost Famous for the first time a few weeks ago and absolutely loved it. And I wish I had watched it sooner. Uh, American Pie, Annabelle Creation, uh, Burn After Reading. If you've never seen Burn After Reading, watch it. It's a Coen Brothers film, and, and in my opinion, it's one of their best. Uh, Beginners, uh, Blade of the Immortal, uh, Bronson. There's a Blade of the Immortal still, but I don't think enough people speak about Blade of, the, Blade of the Immortal. If you haven't seen this film, get on it right away. It's a fantastic film. Uh, Bronson, The Big Sick, Big Sick also. Perfect, perfect film. Uh, uh, then we have uh, Brain Dead, Black Swan. Blade Runner: The Final Cat, Cut, Cat, The Final Cat would be a very different film. Uh, Blade Runner: Twenty Forty Nine, uh, Bad Taste, one of Peter Jackson's best. Uh, Beetlejuice, The Big Lebowski, Boyhood, uh, Big Train, Be Kind, Rewind, uh, Blood Simple, uh, Big Big. What am I saying today? Everyone's gonna be like, "Hey, mate, are you drunk?" Because the last time I was like, "Hey, do you take loads of speed before I do? I just speak quick. I don't even drink. This is." Maybe it's just too much energy drink today. Oh. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Batman Return of the Croup. Cr the Croup. <laughs> can't, I can't get anything right. Return of the Caped Crusaders. Bridesmaids, Big Fish, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, which gets a lot of slack, but it's a bloody fantastic movie. Uh, Birdman, Chocolate, not to be mistaken with the Johnny Depp film, the Thai film, uh, Cheap Thrills, Children of Men, Cemetery Junction, Cam Fever 1 and 2, the German release, um, Crimson Wing, The Conjuring, Steelbook, and The Conjuring 2, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Cabin in the Woods, Steelbook, Glowfield, Steelbook, Commando, Cruel Intentions, Crank 2, High Voltage, I really wish I could find the first Crank on Blu-ray, I've been looking for ages, if anyone knows where I can find it, please let me know. Uh, Chaser, uh, Carve the Slip Mouth Woman, The Crazies, Clerk Stillbook, Clerks 2, Chopper, Deadpool Stillbook. <sighs> Saying just Stillbook is like, well, we can't see it. Is that, I think, I can't remember whose exclusive that was. Maybe that HMV, maybe that was Zavi. Can't remember. Um, Deathgasm, Dawn of the Dead. Um, that's the remake. I wish that would get released on Blu ray. Uh, Dread. Dogtown and the Z Boys, Z Boys, uh, Doomsday, Drag Me to Hell, Don't Breathe, District 9, Dead Snow, Dead Snow 2. Uh, Dead Snow 2 is better than Dead Snow 1. Dead Snow 2 is, is such a fun horror. Um, Die Hard, Die Hard 2, The Departed, 
the Dark Knight and the Dark what well, the Dark Knight Batman Begins box, uh, the Dark Knight Rises, Dawn of the Dead, Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Dead Planet. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wish that was some weird crossover. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, The Craft, Climax, Collateral, Frozen Planet, Funny Games, Fright Night, Fight Club. This is, I think this is one of the really, really old when Play.com was still around. Um, Fight Club, still book. Really like that still book. Um, X Drummer, Eight Legged Freaks, which Eight Legged Freaks needs to get a Blu ray release in the UK. Uh, the Exorcist, Ex Machina. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Um, I absolutely love the still book. Just like that, when you move it, his little, his little belly, the belly lights up. Uh, the Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, uh, Evil Dead Remake, so still book. Uh, Enemy, Earth, Drive, uh, Four Lions, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Final Destination, Final Destination 2. Final Destination, Final Destination Three, Final Destination Five. I don't earn, own, I don't earn. Wow, well, I don't own the Final Destination because I hate that one. But think all these other ones are, are quite fun, except for Final Destination Three having the the game where you can pick the endings because they are absolutely terrible. The endings that you can pick. We have Fear X, uh, Bruce Lee, Game of Death. Grabbers, Grindhouse, the two disc collector edition, which both Grindhouse movies, Ghost Stories, The Guest, Get Out, The Goonies, Godzilla, and Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The next shelf, uh, also showing my Resident Evil t shirt. Uh, go and check out Hell on Shirts, they do incredible horror shirts, and this one is, is brilliant. If you can see, I'm going to try to show you the back. It says, You Are Dead on the back. You like Resident Evil? I don't think I have any of these left, um, but they have loads of other fantastic horror shirts. On this shelf, we have the Grandmaster. I'm actually gonna gonna get on my knees for this. Oh, I am becoming an old man because that's hurting my knees. Game Night, The Grudge, uh, the original Grudge, grotesque, which is banned in the UK because apparently it doesn't have a proper story even though it does have a proper story of two people going on a date and then getting tortured. But doesn't it's just pretty much the same as Hostel, but apparently they didn't want to release it because it didn't have a proper story, even though it really, really does. And it's, it's better than Hostel, okay? Uh, Godzilla, the original Godzilla, uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Green Room, Goosebumps, Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai, Goodfellas 20th Anniversary Edition, God Bless America, this is the... French release. I really like this release, just in a very cool thin case. Uh, then we have Gremlins, Gremlins 2, Hail Caesar, Hereditary, Hostel, Hostel Part 2, The Unseen Edition. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. Oh, I watched I Know What You Did Last Summer again recently, and it has not aged well at all. Um, H, Hardcore Henry, Hot Fuzz, Hot Halloween, the original Halloween. Um, the host, Hellboy, Hellboy 2. Not the Hellboy remake, because that is one of the worst things ever. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, which the the remake, which is better than the original, is an incredible remake. Uh, home Alone 1 and 2. Headhunters, Hellraiser, Hairspray, Heat, House on Haunted Hill. The Happiness of the Katakuras. It follows the Iron Giant, Insidious, Killer Joe, King Kong. Uh, Kick ass, as you can see, it's got it's. I'm doing it in the wrong order right now, but um, Juno, Jumanji, the original Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, which I think is a great film, uh, Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic Park The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, um, which is miles better than the, the first Jurassic World and is almost horror with dinosaurs, and that's my reason I liked it a lot more than Jurassic World. I don't know Jurassic World because. I watched it again recently and it just doesn't stand up at all. Uh, Jaws, Iron Sky, Isle of Dogs, It, um, and then I have got It Chapter 2, which you saw earlier. Uh, I Saw the Devil, Glorious Bastards, The Innkeepers, Interstellar, Intruder, M, which if you have never seen M, then phew, this film is 
incredible. First saw it in uni, watched it again recently. Black and white film, great film. I I believe is this they filmed this in German, but then they filmed it in English as well. There's two different versions of the film, which I think is a very interesting way of doing it. Uh, layer cake, Lahane, uh, Looper, Law Abiding Citizen. Oh, if you haven't seen that, watch that. That is a mess, but a fun mess. Um, life, uh, Lost River, which I, I wish they would release on Blu-ray in the UK, but we just got the DVD. Uh, Lake Mungo, The Loved Ones, Killer Counts from Out of Space, Kingsman The Secret Service. I don't own the second Kingsman because I was so disappointed after the first one was just brilliant. And then the second was just very, very mediocre. Killers. Krampus, The Karate Kid, Killing Them Softly, King Kong vs. Godzilla, uh, the original King Kong, Kill Bill, uh, and Kill Bill, Vo Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2 still books. These are the, ugh, the German still books. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try and pull them out. So, we've got Murder Set Pieces, another film banned in the UK because a child gets stabbed at one point, and that is the only reason that film is banned in the UK because, um, UK films say that you can't show kids getting killed in movies. Yeah, that's their rule. Uh, the Matrix, Mission to Lars, Monsters, Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus, Masterpiece, Masterpiece, Men in Black, Mars Attacks, Mars Attacks, that's a still book, I really love this still book. But great still book. Man Down, still haven't watched that with Shia LaBeouf. Uh, Man Max Fury Road, which also includes the Man Max Fury Road Black and Chrome Edition. Uh, Motel Hell, Martyrs, the original Martyrs, Muppets from Space, the Muppets from Take Manhattan, uh, Moon, Maniac, and the Maniac remake, Let the Right One In, Leon the Professional, Logan, Overlord, there's the uh, old boy, this is a, I still don't know, what, I think this is a ch uh, Chinese release, but I've never been able to find out, I haven't ever seen this release anywhere else online, I was trying it in a charity shop, I love old boy, so I've, I buy all different editions of it, um, One Cut of the Dead, Ong Back, Nymphomaniac 1 and 2, that's Director's Cut, uh, Nightcrawler, The Naked Gun, Nebraska, Nosferatu, uh, one of Eureka's very old releases, but it's a, it's a heavy still book, that one is. The Neon Demon, No Country for Old Men, Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon Dynamite needs to get a Blu-ray release in the UK. I don't understand why we still don't have a Blu-ray release in the UK. Uh, Mr. Robot, Season 1, 2 and 3, uh, Mother's Day. Martyrs, that's the that's still the original Martyrs, I don't know why I put it there, but this is the, the DVD release of it. Um like that. That released the unrated one. And then I was loved with these slip cases where you lift it up. It's different underneath. Mary and Max, which also needs to get a Blu-ray release in the UK. Um, Munich, which I know has now got a Blu-ray release, but I still have it on DVD. I think it got released in the premium collection. Um the Push Trilogy needs to get a Blu-ray release in the UK as well. Uh, Pacific Rim, Pan's Labyrinth, Piranha, 3D, um, Paprika, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Pokemon the Movie Collection, which 1, 2, and 3, Project Grizzly, uh, Planet Earth, Planet Earth 2, Paddington, Paddington 2, Piranha the Original, Joe Dante, uh, Panic Room, another film that needs to get a Blu-ray release in the UK, uh, The Puffy Chair, Prisoners, Predator, Predators, Sinister, Sleep Type, the Sixth Sense, Star Trek Beyond, the one that I enjoy the most out of the new films. I think that's the one that does enough fan service. I feel like Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness was just J.J. Abrams not really doing it right. And then Justin Lin came in and was like, hey, I know everyone doesn't like Beastie Boys on the trailer, but I'm going to do something brilliant with these films. And he did. And I absolutely loved it. Um, then we have Super Bad, Summer Wars, Rango, The Ring 1 and 2, that is the um, the remakes, R Point, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Red State, uh, Wreck 1, 2, and 3, The Revenant, The Raid, The Raid 2, Pet Cemetery, the original, I hate the remake, and Poltergeist. We have the last two shelves of the most exciting video you have ever seen. We have The Shallows, Shrooms, Seven Psychopaths. Uh, submarine, Scream, Scream 2, Scream 4, don't have Scream 3 because I hate Scream 3, uh, Spider-Man, this is actually, I hate, I always hate this look, see it says, it says Spider-Man on the side, you think, oh that's just the first Spider-Man film, and you open it up, and it's all three Spider-Man films, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Sam Raimi, 
it's all three films. Why not just put Spider-Man trilogy on the side? It's such a, I love the still book, but it's badly designed when it says that on the side. But hey, look, I own, I mean, the Amazing Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man Two with the with the slip case. It's a nice. Oh, look at it! It's a shiny slip case. <laughs> Poundland, Poundland. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, though. Mwah. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Perfect, perfect movie. And then we have Star Wars. It's 4, 5, and 6. Yeah, I don't have the, the prequels because I hate them. Even though these ones have still been fucked up with the CGI from George Lucas. Then we still have Rogue One, Star Wars Story, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, then we have Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Shaun of the Dead, Trust, Saw, Steelbook. I need to buy all the other Saws, but look at that. It's a great, great Steelbook. Uh, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, the best Scooby-Doo movie. The newest Scooby-Doo return, re return to Zombie Island was horrendous. It wasn't the Scooby-Doo gang that I loved, and I really, really hated it. Just had to, just got to get that opinion out there. Uh, Super 8, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Steelbook, Suspiria, uh, The Shining, South Park, Bigger, Longer and Uncut. Uh, still not been released on Blu-ray in the UK, so this is uh, the American release of it. There we go. Uh, Spy in the Wild, Seven, Sin City, Sin City 2, The Steelbook, Spring Breakers, Southbound, uh, The Tournament, The Taint, The House that Jack Built, Taxi Driver, Steelbook, I believe, is the Best Buy 1970-something. I can't remember. Uh, the Toolbox Murders, Train Spotting, Touching the Void, Tales of Halloween, Team America World Police Steelbook. Uh, I think this was when Play was still around as well. Look at that. One of those old Steelbooks. Uh, Troll Hunter, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, another, another Second Sight Steelbook. Great artwork on that one. Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, Thunderbirds are Go. Uh, this is England, the Terminator. I think that's one of the newer releases where it didn't the transfer didn't look terrible. But then it's Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Um, this is the French or German still book. Can't remember. Then we have the World's End, uh, Watchmen, Whiplash still book. Uh, I love this still book. That is great. And then War of the Worlds, the Wolf of Wall Street, The Wrestler, War for the Planet of the Apes, The Void. Underworld, Tomorrowland, World Beyond, Trick or Treat, still needs to be released on Blu-ray in the UK. Teeth, also needs to be released on Blu-ray in the UK. Trying to Bush on, Taken, The Triplets of Belleville, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box set. Um, they released this in the UK, but the box set, they didn't do this great thing, where with this release, all of the discs are pizza. And they didn't do that with the UK release, which I think was a travesty. Now, final shelf. Uh, bed knobs and broomsticks. Christopher Robin. Just kissing that film. Just kissing it. It's perfect. Uh, Shaun the Sheep. I watched the Shaun the Sheep Farmageddon the other night. Oh, oh yeah, Farmageddon. Not as good as the first one, but still, perfect movie. Um, never Ending Story, Robots, My Life is a Courgette. My Life is a Courgette is fantastic. I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful stop motion and just a wonderful film. Very short film, uh, very harrowing at points. But if you've never seen My Life is a Courgette, get on it. Watch it right away. Uh, the Transformers movie. Um, there we go. Steelbook. Uh, See, as you can see, I don't actually own any of the Transformers movies because I think they're shit. Uh, I think the first one's all right, but Bumblebee was brilliant. The best Transformers movie because it opens with an exact scene from the animated series, which is perfect. The Pirates, the uh, in an adventure with scientists, one of Arben's best movies. Uh, the Lego Movie, the Lego Batman movie, How to Train Your Dragon one and two. I need to buy three. Uh, Frank and Weenie, Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs, Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs 2, both masterpieces. Uh, Zodiac, we're not in kids' movies. Uh, Z is. <laughs> w and Z is just here. Goes a bit weird, because as you can see, W is over here, so I had to carry it on. 
just here. So it goes Zodiac, Zombie Land, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Warship Down, uh, Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Were Rabbit, Wayne's World, and Wayne's World 2, and then we go on to Disney and Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. Um, so we've got Adventure Time, second season, Adventure Time, first season. That's when I had to buy them from Australia, on eBay, Australia. And now they finally start releasing them in the UK, which I'm very happy about. Uh, Monster House, Coraline, 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 Par- Paranorman, Box Trolls, Cubo. I'm glad I own all of the uh, Leica movies now, because um, I got Missing Link the other day. And then we have the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, which is a, is a great sequel, but not as good as the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, which they still haven't released on Blu-ray in the UK. But that's so that's why I have the um, can't remember what release this is. I think it's an American release, but yeah, let's get that release because I don't know why they've never released it on Blu-ray in the UK when it's out there. They can put it on Blu-ray. They can do it as a release. Hopefully someone just releases an incredible release. Um, It's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Snoopy and the Charlie Brown, The Peanuts movie, uh, Norsica, and Of the Valley of the Wind. Uh, This is where it goes in Studio Ghibli, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, House Moving Castle, My Neighbours, The Yamadas, Spirited Away, Only Yesterday, Ponyo, uh, Up on Poppy Hill, I Need to Get More, Studio Ghibli. Um, I do do get Great of the Fireflies and My Neighbour Toroto for Christmas. Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Dumbo, uh, Cinderella. This is where this is all just Disney. The rest of this, pretty much. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, Lady and the Tramp, Hundred One Dalmatians, Sword in the Stone, Jungle Book, The Aristocats, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Rescuers, The Fox and the Hound, Basil the Great Mouse Detective, Oliver and Company, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Hercules, Mulan, uh, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, Treasure Planet. Chicken Little, Meet the Robinsons, Tangled, what was below that? Princess and the Frog, uh, Rocket Ralph, uh, Big Hero 6, Zootropolis, Moana, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 have got 4 as well now, uh, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, Incredibles, it's one of those, uh... oh, I just want to pull this out, if you can see that properly, it's just a, it's a, it's a German still book that got released. I think I bought these all off. Uh, Amazon Germany at one point. Uh, the Incredibles 2 still book, Ratatouille, Up, Brave, Monsters University, Inside Out, Finding Nemo, Coco, Pixar, there's the Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1, Volume 2, uh, A Bug's Life, and Wally. See, so there's a German still book, so they did them like that. The artwork on the front with the characters massive on the front. Maybe that's not German. I'm not sure. Daz? Yeah, that, def- <laughs> that definitely has to be German. And that's all German on the back of Wally. But that was my complete DVD and Blu-ray collection 2020. If you want to see more in depth or anything or see me speak about titles or still books, sort of the still books I own, sort of collections that I own, then let me know in the comments down below. Um, I also collect a lot of vinyl. Um, I've been recently collecting a lot of movie soundtracks. So if you want to see my vinyl collection, say in the comments down below, I'd like to see your vinyl collection. If you want to see me review any movies, um, then say please review this movie. I'm trying to get back into reviewing more disturbing movies So if there's any disturbing movies you want me to review say in the comments down below and I will get on those Because I need to get more content out, but please Like this video subscribe to me if you enjoyed this uh, Leave a comment if you have watched this far saying hey I watched this far because I really like your videos, but I know no one will say that who thought doing a video on my whole collection would get me out of breath Am I that unhealthy? That's all from me today. Thank you all very much for watching this. Thank you all to the new subscribers. Uh, Thank you to people that have subscribed from seeing me do comedy at the start of this year. Uh, I did a really fun gig to 500 people. Uh, Jonathan Pye headlined, which was weird. If anyone knows Jonathan Pye, he is brilliant. And it was weird to be opening a show where he was headlining. And a sold out 500 theatre. So yeah. Comedy is going well for me. Uh, if you like me as a comic, then keep an eye out. Like my Facebook page. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll be announcing dates of my new show, Bad Movies. I am doing it five times this year. So uh, five times I have been booked this year. I've, I've, I've agreed to them this year. So that's going to be Camden Fringe, Colchester Fringe, and one in Rochester. So come and if you're in those places, then come and see me do my new show, Bad Movies. It was all about my love of bad movies. 
and talking about some of the worst movies ever made. That's all from me today. Thank you very much. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.